Heathens. So, exciting time for science here lately. Um, two major announcements were made not you know too long ago. Uh, one of which I'm pretty sure you probably heard of, and that is of uh, the fossil found, which is believed to possibly link um, uh, monkeys with their older ancestors to, to provide another step in the evolutionary chain. Um, a discovery that got a ridiculous amount of media attention, despite the fact that, to be entirely honest, all the results are not in. Uh, I hate to have to uh, to do this, uh, but as Aaron Ross stated, uh, we have to agree with Europe that science, you know, that people aren't allowing science to do its part first before they went all out with this. We all fell somewhat prey to this, or you know, or we have the tendency to fall prey to this. When you want that proof, you want that evidence, you want it there uh, so badly when it presents itself, you you jump on it, and it may very well be. But you have to be skeptical from start to finish and do the proper tests that need to be done. And the fact of the matter is that on this fossil, that has not occurred uh, yet uh, to my satisfaction, at least. Um, although there's plenty of strong evidence to suggest that it will, in fact, turn out to be exactly what they say that it will. What well, you know, we'll see. I'm going to link you to a uh, article over here from Live Science that uh, discuss exactly how this media blitz kind of got blown out of proportion. Um, so that being said, that's all the blitz I'm giving it. Uh, I'm going to try and give you a more complete um, video on that once um, more information is in uh, from uh, the studies that will be done to this thing now that now that this, uh, this has begun. Now let's talk about something that should have gotten a lot more press that you may not have heard about. And I think that this is uh, more important, and yet I'm hearing no one talk about this. There's no big TV specials for it, but yet it's bigger than the discovery of this fossil. What am I talking about? Well, as most of you who have been engaged in this, you know, debate, if you want to call it such, uh, with creationists, it, it, you know, they confuse abiogenesis with evolution, so when you try and discuss evolution, that's of course what they throw you back to. Uh, well, why hasn't science uh, ever been able to reproduce life in uh, lab conditions? It happened. Pretty big, right? Now, we had already had um, a situation where the science was able to reproduce just basic building blocks of life, but not quite to the extent that we needed to. But now, it was released on May the 13th that in uh, Manchester, um, United Kingdom, a, uh, a group of scientists were able to uh, by uh, putting together conditions that would have been likely in the early stages of our planet's formation, they have been able to synthesize RNA. 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 I mean, come on. That is what it takes in order to put together the DNA structure and create life as we know it. They did it huge discovery and I, again I will link you to the uh, to an article so you can check that out and I want you to notice the difference in the attitude of how this information is being presented versus what happened with the fossil uh, this was all found with uh, John Sutherland uh, at the University of Manchester um, and his colleagues of course um, putting together the uh, simple chemicals under the right conditions that might have existed during the early earth um, and uh, Donna Blackman, who is a uh, chemist at Imperial College in London, uh, said, This is extremely strong evidence for the RNA world. We don't know if th these chemical steps reflect what actually happened, but before this work, there were large doubts that it could happen at all. So we know now that using just basic chemicals in the right circumstances, which were very probable in the formation of our Earth, RNA can form on its own. And if RNA can form, DNA can form. If DNA can form, life can form. There you go. They did it. Huge, huge story. And if you haven't heard about it, you need to ask, 
why haven't I heard about this? Why is this not getting more press? This is a much larger uh, discovery than anything else, and um, and I'm looking forward to what else they are able to put together now that they've at least pieced together this part. Um, uh, evolution has been proven for a long time. I don't care. You can tell me it hasn't all you want to, creationists. It has. The evidence is all there. Look into the uh, number two chromosome. Look into ERVs. Th that evidence is there. You always backed up to abiogenesis. Well, abiogenesis is now coming together very, very strong. We know now that it is, in fact, possible to formulate RNA simply with just chemicals in the right spot with conditions that would have been likely at the time that our Earth was forming. Um, Huge, huge. Um, check out the links uh, and do some research yourself on it. As always, don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.